And now Knoll had the puck, had it knocked off. Here's a chance for Fultz, pad save, rebound, they score! The captain, Engto! One nothing, shot of clears. Juicy, juicy rebound off the right blocker of Pierce. Engto takes advantage of it. What a shot there, what a way to start this game. Coastal's been knocking on the door all afternoon this weekend. And we'll get another look at it. Battle for it on the far boards. Here's the initial shot from Folks. Folks put that shot on net. Went off the right blocker of Pierce. He couldn't corral it, though, and Ingto puts it home up in the top left corner. Williams getting more aggressive on the defense now. Here's O'Brien. Back to Lalek. Slides it over to Walsh. Walsh fires a pass. O'Brien! Oh, he had a gaping cage. Couldn't put it on. Now another chance for the shot. They score! On the power play. Graham, you mentioned Owen O'Brien had the entire goal wide open, but the, you know, he'll miss wide to the left, go off the end board. We'll get another shot off the back. Here take a look here. O'Brien had all the net he wanted, but here's Ferrara, and then Barnes puts it home past Pierce to put the shots in front, 2 nothing. Here's Fogarty into the zone. Fogarty sends this puck to the slot. Chance for Liberty. Puck still loose. Can Cattell get it home? No, kept out. Oh, they score! Lebrecht finally falls, and it's Campbell who gets the flames on the board. Jarrell Campbell, the grad student from Ontario, Canada, finally does what Liberty needs to do, get some traffic out in front of the net. You're not going to beat Lebrecht on the first shot. You've got to hope for a rebound, second, third opportunity. 14 and White takes advantage of it. He's the one who initially fans on that shot. He's down and out on the play, gets back in. Look at the hustle, and then scores on the backhand. Coastal almost falls asleep right in front of the goal. Very uncharacteristic, but Campbell, Johnny on the spot, backhand over LeBrecht's left glove, excuse me. Here's Engto, trying to get around Wines. He'll throw it off the inboards. Folks on the near side. Krupa across to Compton on the backhand. Compton shot from the top of the circles. They score! Justin Folks! And Clayton Pierce got decked after that play by Folks completely accidentally. He's still down. What a play by Justin Folks. Got the deflection. 11 and Teal makes this a three to one game and Pierce is still down. Yeah, we're gonna get another look at it and see what happened to Clayton Pierce there as the trainer comes out to take a look at him. Here's the initial shot from Compton. There's Folks deflecting it in and then boom, in celebration as he raises his arm unintentionally just forearm shivers Pierce. It's all about getting a quick shot on that. He'd be liberty. Hope he goes. Cattell can't get it off. Ross, near side, his shot, not through traffic, and that will do it. Sino <laughs> in Lynchburg. Coastal is number one again. Back to back championships for the Chanticleers. What a game. What a tournament. And what a finale. Coastal Carolina for the second year in a row takes down Liberty. This time on the Flames home ice. This one stings a little more. Obviously not in overtime like last year, but Trent Lebrecht, Owen O'Brien, Justin Folks, the rest of this Coastal Carolina team played a phenomenal game and certainly earned this 3-1 victory in the championship for the second year in a row. Look at the emotion on the faces of the Chanticleers. We talked about it. They played a short season. They didn't play a whole lot of games. Resulted in them being a number four seed and having a tougher route to the championship than they might have wanted. But there you see it officially. Coastal Carolina University, the ACCHL champions for the second year in a row. And there is the handshake line, one of the great traditions in all of hockey. Two teams that played a spirited match. A lot of emotion and fire being shown on the ice, but at the end of it, it's all sportsmanship between these two squads. That's exactly right. Hard fought championship, some physicality, a couple of injuries along the way. We hope everybody's okay. Comes out in one piece and what a what a great end to this weekend tournament here in Lynchburg. Nothing to be ashamed of for either team. Both teams are flying up and down the ice. Coastal was just able to put a couple more home in the afternoon. Takes home their second straight ACCHL M3 championship. And we'll stick around for the trophy presentation with 
Commissioner Andy Musto. And the champs already have their hats. It's another crushing defeat for Liberty. But they had a very, very, very good season. Saw them getting the regular season conference title. And they looked unbeatable on Friday and Saturday, taking down Montgomery College and Coastal, excuse me, College of Charleston. We've been mixing up those two all weekend long. But then when it came to Coastal today, and they felt that they should have been more respected coming into the tournament as well. It was a phenomenal game played on all fronts by the Shawnaclears. Their penalty kill was incredible in this championship game. And now we're going to have a prayer right at center ice. An even better sign of sportsmanship between these two squads. Yeah, Liberty does this after every game it plays. The Flames join together. The other team varying participation most games, but today looks like the entire Coastal team will join in for the post-game prayer. Excitement. Coastal parents are already on the ice in the far left, away from us on the near board. Second straight championship for the Shawnee Clears. What a program defining sequence. Two championships in two years. You're going to remember this. These players will remember this game for the rest of their lives, and particularly the guys who were here last year. Two straight wins over a very good Liberty team in the championship. And now we have the awards presentation here with. Commissioner Andy Musto of the ACCHL. about it Jay he had a great chance to win this going in five goals allowed in three games two against high point two against ECU last night and then in the championship the biggest moment of his career one goal against in 60 minutes and a flurry of saves to say the least player of the tournament Trent Lebrecht we mentioned it all afternoon Trent Lebrecht left glove kept this Coastal Carolina team in every game they played, especially this championship. And then the letter where is Ferrara, Folks, and Engto out to get the cup from Commissioner Musto. There you see them with the photo up. And the ACCHL championship trophy belongs to Conway yet again. afternoon of M3 hockey. The game before the, we got the call between App State and William & Mary went into overtime. William & Mary won 4-3. to three. And then this one, 3-1 final, a not quite an overtime game, but certainly 
a very competitive hockey game between Liberty and Coastal Carolina. And that'll do it for us here in Lynchburg. This has been a phenomenal tournament, Jay. And it saw the reigning champions come out on top again. We'll be back next year, first year, and it will be just as great next season. But Coastal Carolina, the champions, they take down High Point in the quarterfinals, East Carolina in the semifinals, and Liberty in the championship to retain their trophy. One last time, Jay Benzett, Graham Tuck, 3-1 to one, Coastal Carolina, champions of the ACCHL again.